welcome back to my channel. This is Didsbury Art Studio and I'm Sally, an art teacher. In today's video what we're going to do is a second weave and this time I'm going to be using a variety of different colours to do with spring because that's the theme that I'm following, seasons. So shall we get straight into it? What I've been doing here is I really like this image. I feel like it captures kind of spring to me with the tulips and everything. I just got this as a secondary source off the internet and what I'm using here are some Sharpies, different colours of the walls, just for very quick sketch so I can just plan how many colours that I'm going to use. And the artist that I'm using to inspire me with this weave is Natalie Miller and I'll put some images up on the screen. So I've just been sketching this out, putting the colours in and the shapes that I want and then I've just got this last little bit here to do. Probably I'm looking at some more kind of yellowy pinky going in here. So obviously I could look at this image and just follow that but I just wanted to have a go at placing the colours down so I've matched up some sharpie pens to the colours of wools that I want to use for spring and then I've just got this little plan here which I'm going to follow that's actually green it's not coming out very much all I need to do now is get my board and let's get started so I've just used um, one of my pens and I've actually just drawn my design onto the foam board it's not going to come off so I've kind of got a little patchwork effect of where I can put things so let's see if that's going to be helpful and I'm going to kick off with using this green wool just in this little section here and I'm going to start with plain weave so I've doubled up my wool just because I want it a little bit thicker. I'm going to start down here just with a plain weave. And then we're going to go back. And now we've got a small double row of plain weave, which is also called tabby weave. So on top of that, I want to do some iron loops. I finished off the actual wool and it's given me four lines of tabby weave. And then what I've done next is prepared 10 strands of wool and I'm gonna do the raya loop knot. So I'm gonna pick up one of my warp lengths and I'm going to just grab the first section like so. And then I'm going to take through this one and I'm gonna just pull it from the back to tighten that. Off. Gonna give me some loops. Let's go again. So we go around the back of the next warp strand and pull that a bit longer and then I'm going to take this section through and just pull that back section once again. Go to the next warp length, the walls behind and then take that section through. Pulling it with the back section like so. So I want this tassely effect first with the Ryan loop knot. I've done another two rows of that 10 strand long length of the wool and then I'm going to do a couple more Raya loop knots but obviously not so long like these ones. I want to keep it short and that'll give me some short loops. So the use of Raya loop knot is complete. Done it slightly shorter here, longer for tassels down there, and then I've headed into a plain weave. Didn't quite finish that shape off because we've run out of wool. 
So I'll just extend the colour above it and make it a bit longer. I'm just going to do exactly the same process but with this pinky colour. Okay, so the next one that we're going to do is this pink one in this shape over here. So I'm going to follow the kind of process that I've been doing, which is some plain weave and some loops at the bottom, which I may well cut into some tassels. So off we go. So this is the shape I'm doing here in yellow. I've got about eight or nine strands of wool there and I'm going to do, because I've already got like this base layer here of pink tabby weave, I'm just going to do some little loops. that I'm going to do is this little section here which looking at my little plan is going to be this bright pink colour not so bright as that one but just over here so I'm going to do it full of loops in this little section so the loops are going to go yeah. See what I'm doing. I'm just going to fill this little area up here. What I'm trying to do here is making all these block colours different in some sort of way. So I've just introduced a little bit of a different purple there and also I'm going back to this pink over here but I'm not going to do it the same sort of thickness I've got quite a few strands of wool here so hopefully it will be a bit thicker um, I've done a couple of loops there in tabby weave but in this little section here I'm just going to do the whole thing in loops so that every little area is looking different there's like one thing I possibly regret so far but we'll see how it turns out in the end is the fact that these two yellows are on the same eye level. They're done with maybe one going a bit lower just to balance it out a bit, but we'll see how it goes. Gone with the stronger yellow there. So I'm going to go with this green down here and then I'm going to merge it and mix it up with this green getting a little bit higher up here so almost maybe a stripey effect and then into a plain green weave. So for a stripey effect I've done one row and then I'll go back this way with that green wool and then I'll just pull that along and then I've got my next colour type of green and I'll go probably should have threaded that in the needle and then we're going back over and under 
under, over and under. Pull that through and then pick up your other one and then we're going to go that way. And you can see it's presented me with a stripy green effect. And then if you wanted to do a little bit more, I could pick up this one and carry on and I might just do that. And you can see that presents me with a horizontal stripe. You can make that a bit wavy by just manipulating it a little bit with the, like that. So I've just been pulling the warp lens, sort of every other warp lens out, so I still get that kind of loopy effect. I'm on the home stretch here, just got this last bit to do, which is obviously the sky from the picture I've been working from. So we're just gonna get this blue in here and then we'll take a look. I've finished off the weave. That was my plan, as you saw. And that was the field of tulips that I wanted to sort of recreate my own version. And obviously I've looked at the artist Natalie Miller as inspo and my version, but used the technique there. All right then, so I shall see you in the next video. Shall I flip it around? Yeah, so I'll see you in the next video, which will be obviously next week. I'm gonna be doing another weave and see you shortly. Bye.